Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 78, recorded on March 19th, 2020. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. Agent Dewey J. And Agent Fane. And we are here with some ingress news and updates and shenanigans possibly more shenanigans than usual maybe less show we'll see but uh i will go first just because i've done nothing this week but work 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 and uh put things in my house and that includes me so i'm working from home uh which somehow i'm busier than normal working from home than working at work where all the people are uh, what, what about y'all Bane so I am also remote um, now indefinitely I think now that we are shifting more into the prime universe <laughs> Nemesis apparently all work from home I guess this is what they were trying to warn us about like so yeah I, I this was the first week of work from home uh, settling into it, it has been an interesting transition. It's been a number of years since I've done remote work, and uh, I'm desperately missing my second monitor. So, new one is on the way. Fingers crossed it still gets here. Also, did a little bit of tessellation from home, because it seems that the tethered hand would like us to all, you know, wash our tethered hands <laughs> and stay at home. So, for any of you that have been following the tessellation, there have been a number of drops that were passcode related. Um, so an array of redemptions available for that passcode. And you got a little bit of power cubes, you know, keep your portals recharged while you're stuck at home. Very generous of the tethered hand to do that. Um, interesting, interesting times. Cool, cool. And how about you, Dewey J? Uh... I have been actually out and about. One of the nice things about being in the middle of freaking nowhere is you can walk for an hour and run into one person. So I have been able to go to and from work. Uh, I am not sequestered or, or sheltering in place. I do think this is a plot by Nemesis to force everybody to RPE. I'm just saying that, you know, but who knows? Um, but I have been able to get out and do some car dressing uh, through a couple of layers today on my way back. Um, but being very careful, washing hands a lot, not not really. I go into somebody's office, I get their computer, I go away, I do my voodoo, and I come back. So it's it's not like I'm, you know, in the middle of a crowd or anything like that. So uh, also decided that um, I just don't want to eat. So... I'm doing like a three-day fast deal. I'm, I'm not eating on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And it's not that tough. So I'm, I'm starting to drop a little weight. Hmm. I needed to. Maybe not the best time to do that. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just getting ready for what's coming. That's one oh. way to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I could adapt to that. Um, I think I'm, I'm rucking too much. It yeah. would probably be very brutal. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not expanding a whole lot of... 12-hour? Maybe. Maybe a 12-hour fast I could accomplish that, I think. But yeah. whole day, you'd, you'd right. be getting, like, angry, angry, uh-huh. need a Snickers vein. <laughs> <laughs> but you can get out and ruck still? Yes. So, luckily, I am rural enough to uh-huh. where if I go out and take certain back roads, um, there's, there's no one. No one is going to be crossing paths with me. But um, mm-hmm. Wednesday, I actually, yeah, yesterday, I felt like I was having to like play Frogger and just avoid people on sidewalks. So I tried to like venture into town now, rural town. But I just tried to avoid people and just ruck my, my normal route. And 
no, nobody wanted to stay more than six feet apart. I at one point was like head down in the scanner and someone walked right up behind me and just kind of surprised me. And I was like, no, it's too late for me. Goody, remember me, please. <laughs> yeah, we've got a, uh, basically a forest preserve, a, a nature center that's nearby and out, out on their sign, it says, you know, the visitor center's closed, but the trails are open. And so you can get out, but you got to be really careful in what you're going to do. And it's it's getting, although it'll be easier tomorrow, it was hard today because it was getting nice. And you said it's going to get to what, like 78 degrees in the yeah, next couple of days? The forecast for me tomorrow is supposed to be a 25 degree difference. And that's freedom units for anybody that's listening from you know Canada or outside of the continental U.S. Um, yeah, so I'm very much looking forward to getting on to some trails. I kind of worried though that the portion of the AT that runs through here is going to be busy. So I'm going to try to go to some of the lesser known spots that I frequent and just see if I can go on like a 10 mile ruck and avoid people. <laughs> and you were mentioning something in the pre-show that, you know, you're getting out really early in the morning. So if you just take those off times, you, you can get out a little bit and, and I, I don't want to say mingle, but you know, stay in as much as you possibly can, especially if you're in a larger area where there's people around. And speaking of staying indoors, you just you know, a couple hours ago here, Ingress pushed the changes to kind of encourage that a little bit, uh, which is much needed, uh, more so for other parts of the world, but I think the U.S. is going to be there very soon, unfortunately. But now uh, you will be able to maintain a sojourner streak by either hacking or recharging. Uh, as long as you recharge or hack once, in consecutive 24-hour periods of time, you will be able to maintain Sojourner. So hopefully those that were trying to maintain it haven't lost it already. Um, but if you're out there still struggling, um, now you can at least just recharge. So maybe keep some power cubes on hand or hopefully you've got some Ambient XM at home. You can deploy more resonators, although I don't quite think that one's being very well received at the moment because it kind of encourages you to go out Unless you have a couch portal, which I don't think is a majority of players. <laughs> no. Maybe they should have given everybody one portable portal. <laughs> Build your own portal. Like, here you go. It's yeah. Just non-linkable yeah. portal. Yeah, I heard a lot of people talking about how to keep the Sojourner alive and stuff like that. And I never even thought of the solution that they came up with. That's a really good solution that uh, yeah. that you can charge and, and keep that streak alive for the time being. Um, that's, that's a good Good solution. I, I like that. Yeah, I think uh, it's a good compromise. A lot of us um, were kind of debating, just talking amongst ourselves, like, do we want to push for power cubes to be something that could be, you know, almost like rationed out across either redeems like they've done with some of the yearly bonuses where you go into the store and there's a pack available for zero chaotic matter units and then you get a small amount of power cubes. Um, I am glad some of the tessellation. So if you haven't been paying attention to the tessellation, you need power cubes, now's the time to do it. Because a lot of the tessellation passcodes that have been coming out have contained either power cubes or hypercubes or some sort of combo of both. So if you need cubes, get tessellated. Yeah. We should be they, adding all those to the site. And they did push some things that I guess for those that are out there, like you said, that uh, higher level agents can put down two sevens and two eights on a portal. Uh, Cooldowns now reduce, reduced to 90 seconds and hacks before burnout increased to 16 hacks. So I think what they're thinking there is that if you do get to one portal, you can work that portal harder. You don't have to go to a number of portals. So if you got that one couch portal that's, you know, 20 feet outside your door, congratulations, you've got one. But, you know, if you can get to that one, you could at least work that one quite and hard. Yeah, and, and, and you don't have to walk to other ones. Like, yeah. there's no reason to, really. You just yeah. stay at that one and uh, do your stuff. So if you got two sevens, two eights, that means you could build a, would that be a seven or a six? You could build your own uh, P6. And then P6. With one other person, you can make a seven. Yeah. So that's not bad. I mean, you get up to a six, and then you can you could load up with a bunch of stuff there. Um, that that helps. Just just stay six feet away from them. <laughs> yeah, stay six feet away from each portal. 
That might be neat if, if they just said, you know, if you have a key, you can remote deploy. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All eight. There's no more to the gas well. Well. <laughs> Abandoned ship. <laughs> yep. Oh, no spoofing. And and just for for the future, um, I don't know that we've actually said it, but all of these are in uh, response to COVID nineteen coronavirus. So if you're listening to this, you know, two two or three years in the future, never heard of that, um, and you're the only person on the planet, uh, you'll know what we're talking about. I don't think it's going to get that bad, but um, but there are some other changes that they put in. Uh, cancellations, postponements. We, we kind of figured that those were coming. There was a lot of them that were that were out there. Um, probably one of the biggest ones that will hit most people is April 4th, which is the first Saturday. And they canceled first Saturdays worldwide. So if you were planning to go to an FS somewhere, uh, plan again. Maybe they'll make it, you know, second Saturday or third Saturday. or I don't, I don't know what, what they'll do, but they canceled them. So... That doesn't mean that they'll pick it up again, but I would imagine that they would be more apt to repeat if you are, you know, you had a first Saturday for the fourth and you want to do another one. I would think they would probably be more apt to, to allow you to have that. Yeah. And I'm definitely not trying to abuse the platform, but I think like a personal call to attention. If, if you still had plans and you were still anticipating traveling, and even if these events are canceled, if you fall in the, grouping of people that are still like, let's just go. Let's just go anyway. Please, please just stay at home. Yeah. Like, I know it's going to suck to have to cancel plans, but now is definitely the time to, to rethink that. Yep. Even if it's not for your own safety, for the safety of others, until we know more about current events, it sucks that things are postponed, but you'll have the cash on hand when they get rescheduled. If you stay at home now, wink. Yeah, right. and, and you'll be alive. So that's that's a good thing. And, and they are giving us quite a bit of lead time so that you can, you know, if you had that plane ticket or something, you were thinking about buying that plane ticket for May 9th in Munich, um, you can rethink that. Um, by the way, that Requiem Anomaly in Munich, May 9th, has been, has been postponed. I don't think they put out any any date on when it's going to be out. Um, and that goes with the NL 1331-1X uh, European tour and mission days from the 9th, May 9th through July 3rd are postponed. That's that's quite a ways out. And and I assume they're still doing it, but I, I know um, someone I work with had a trip scheduled to Japan and, and uh, she was able to cancel everything and get refunds with no issues. So yeah. if that's your concern, you know, just call and, and see about a refund and uh, save it until the actual anomaly happens and, or yeah. the actual event. Yeah. Um, which whatever whatever comes on the opposite end of this, I have a feeling that that will be the event that you'll want to be at. Because yeah. we'll all have been cooped up inside way too long, <laughs> and that will be one heck of a celebration. Everybody will be out. That's true. <laughs> Everybody will be ready to go. And I, I, now that I think about that, NL 1331X, they probably just, the whole tour is they just nix that. So that's probably why it's the 9th of May to July 3rd. Um, so they yeah, you'll yeah, have to figure out. That specific tour is out, yep. Yeah. And I don't know why they listed specifically that the mission day in Ames, Iowa on May 3rd is postponed. I, I don't know why that one is different from all the rest, but they specifically listed that one. So that's weird. Sorry, Ames, Iowa. <laughs> so that's um, that's events canceled. We've got an event going on right now to make up for it. That's cool. Uh, portal scanning. Who's done it? Is anybody doing it yet? My phone doesn't support it, so I'm I'm kind of <laughs> sitting on my hands at the moment. Uh, yeah, so if you have a supported device, if you're in range of a portal and you go to the portal edit menu, you should then see in the menu available portal scanning. But as you can see here, if I can get this right, I do not have it. There is no portal scanning on my phone because unfortunately, even though I'm recursed in, in the US, uh, my poor essential phone 
does not support scanning. So and what, what are the requirements to be in on that at this time? You would need to, to have uh, AR support on your device. So I think it's AR core and then I, I can never remember the Apple equivalent. Um, okay. But there is like, you can, you can Google that, you can search that and that is available. So I know a lot of devices do support it, but older devices are more likely to not support it. Yeah. And on the ingress side, what do you have to be? Uh, right now, I think it's still restricted to agents that are at least um, 16 within the U.S. So Lady Anthrax, actually, she is able to scan. So when we were out last weekend, right before things started kind of ramping up, uh, we were nearby a couple of portals that were just walking distance from the apartment, and she was able to do a scan. So for those of you that haven't gotten a scan yet, the feature really seems to be good for smaller objects, or like statues, smaller plaques, installations that you can walk completely around relatively quickly. So like bigger buildings and other things might not be the best for portal scanning because it's just going to be a lot harder to gather that data with your phone when you're not standing, you know, half a block back from it to, to get a whole building picture or something. And they said that, like you said, it's better if it's an object like a statue or something that you can get the 360. You know, you could do like a mural on the wall, but it it's you know a little bit difficult because you're really going to get a half circle at that point, if possible. Now, what are they going to use this information for? Wouldn't you like to know? Hmm. And it's AR Kit. It's the Apple one. Very, very uh, unique name there. Yeah, it's. I think it's. I don't. Are they doing the same thing for Pokemon? players or this is only ingress are they um doing scanning yes i don't know now, i think scan is only rolled out for ingress at the moment yeah and so it, we'll you know, test it and then if it works right then they'll roll it out to the other game i think that I, I was just about to say that i mean we we tend to be the guinea pigs and i don't mind being the guinea pig but we we tend to be the let's see if this works give it to the ingress players because if anybody can figure it out it's them you know and if it'll work, we'll we'll make it work for them, and then we can, like you said, roll it out for the other games. It's like so, being in beta. Yep, we live in beta. I hope they enjoy Pokemon Prime as much as we do. <laughs> <laughs> Hint: Pokemon Go players, the Prime Universe. Just right. just stay in twelve eighteen if you can. <laughs> no, it's no, not Pikachu all that. comes popping no. up. Exogenous, like the first we, didn't, we didn't realize that the exogenous would be called the COVID nineteen when we started this, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were on the forefront. Speaking of, I think we have something drop. Weirdness. Old spaghetti face. Old spaghetti face. Spaghetti Not, hope they don't try to get some pasta off Amazon. <laughs> Futile. I'm sure there's probably five or six clues that are in there. Oh, hey. you didn't get them all? Huh? I just solved the puzzle while it was going. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> while, while the video was playing, just you just close that code in mind. Oh, the code is AA wash your hands AA. I'm not oh sure. My God, it came out early. I'm not sure what that's that for. That code, but goodbye, everybody. <laughs> right, just <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye. Uh, and and sorry, I I'm feel like I'm a little bit like not 
paying attention, but I am. But I'm also, we're trying this new streaming thing, and there's some weird, odd things that I'm trying to do, like the chat. I've been trying to get show the whole show, um, and it's not working. So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the chat is not there. But And, and if we're, we're getting kind of choppy or anything like that, we're, we're refining the system. We're going to blame Nemesis, but we're still refining the system. He's doing a good job, though. He's doing a good job. Nemesis? Yeah, it's all, no, you. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, <laughs> so decoding challenges. Are we done with the current set? The 13? Was it 13? 13? I think there's... Are we on, what, 8 or 9 now? So we got more coming, then. I think we got more coming. And this, this would be a, a good time to kind of do that, because... Agents can't get out as much as they could. Could so now would be a good time for kind of a wave of decoding challenges. Uh, I agree. Now, I'm, not, I'm not any good at them, so I'm not somebody that would stay up all night and uh, do them and then have a rough day the next day, <coughs> Goonie. <coughs> but uh, yeah, so we should do one together then. Let's just start doing them as a team. Okay, you 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 start to solve them, and I'll go. Yep. Uh, yep <laughs> looks good to me well I never want to give it away like when I'm saying something in our chat because I know Vane wanted to start doing them so I don't want to be like spoiler spoiler alert <laughs> but if we did them all together then it's like we're all kind of pitching in a yep. little bit And well you give me the very first part of it because that, that'll be the easiest part and you can have the rest I guess because I just I guess I just suck at that so I suck at that and the glyph hacking but I keep playing anyway. Keep open. That's a thing. Yep. Yep, yep. Uh, speaking of keeping on, um, we had a couple of agents that were talking about how to continue ingress, even though you might be sheltering in place, uh, things like that. Um, so there was uh, an infographic that was put out uh, talking about things that you could do uh, during the days when the Pandemic has you inside. Um, so if you're level one, one to 16, anybody, of course, recharge, 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 and get that recharger badge. So it's a good idea. You don't have to go anywhere to really do that one. Just got to have the keys. Um, if you're seven to 16, of course, you can create missions on your computer. Um, then go do them after the sequester and everything's over. That's a good idea. Uh, eight to 16. You can, if you have the keys, uh, edit portals remotely, improving their name, descriptions, picture, just cleaning up the data, so to say. Uh, 10 to 16, you can uh, send new portal requests remotely using pictures taken with your phone or by other agents, as long as you have proof that they're real and valid portal candidates. That might be kind of tough to do because you had to have the uh, picture in place. Uh, so... But it could it could be done, and of course, twelve to sixteen. Uh, if you got computer access, you can do Wayfair, and uh, thumbs up, thumbs down things on the portal network. Also, get you closer to that OPR badge. Uh, and if you have a key, of course, you can edit the location of the portal remotely. So you can still do a lot um, and be there. Uh, but they remind you your health is more important than that Sojourner badge, which you now have a way that you can still get that Sojourner badge. Um, so. You can still do a lot. Um, I know that we'd always had that talk about you wish you could do more couch dressing, so to say. Yeah, and I think it's a good time for OPR. Like everybody's portals that they've been submitting over the past however long should all be uh, good to go in, in less than a month, right? Because everybody's <laughs> in Wayfair and just getting their OPR badge ticking up there. And uh, we'll see see how that works because i have like 12 new ones just sitting there waiting like oh maybe this is a good one um if y'all think this is a good candidate for a portal i guess i could bring it up but actually that'll just take you off. so basically there's a parking lot uh in downtown madison that has light posts and and they have these plaques on the bottom it's like a concrete circular thing with a plaque on it with a quote from you know like martin luther king quote or um thomas edison just you know famous historic figures and it's you know nice little plaque 
Um, but there's quite a few of them. So it's like, I think they would make decent portals. I think they would make great portals for, for me. It's like a, that would be our biggest farm in town if they all got approved. But um, what do you think? Mm. Would you say yay or nay? I'm thinking I have to see how close it is to other ones. Um, well, what the portal density in the area is. And will they be green most of the time? No, wait. I can't, no. Oh, the... oh. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't say it. I can't do that. Uh, no, I, I mean, they sound like good candidates. But I, again, yeah, it's it's hard to tell without knowing what's around it. Um, right. Well, there's like nothing around it. Oh, okay. I mean, there's the downtown area is like behind some buildings from it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's like one portal near them. Yeah. You, you never know. I mean, I had a portal in, in the nearby nature preserve that I submitted. I forgot that I had submitted. Um, so I submitted it again and then I submitted it again and I finally got it on the third try. It was a little different each time. Um, uh, but finally got it so and it's in the middle of a nature preserve nothing around it so and i know the reason they probably couldn't figure it out is because it was you know you look at the map and it's hidden under the trees and that mm -hmm. looks like the base of a light that's exactly what it is i think i'm gonna have to one star <laughs> I'm brutal on this I'm going oh, it's a black. It's a black with a quote. Uh, one. That's a one star. It's it's got a <laughs> lot. Of, it's got a lot of history. Give me some pavilions. Give me some gazebo. Lot. But I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. they're all done. We have no portals. There. <laughs> Give us some portals. We're all done with portals. Go get yourself a, like go down to the Home Depot. Get yourself a gazebo. <laughs> put it on the front front lawn and just. Like act like it's public property. Or you just you get buy go buy a statue somewhere. Put it up in the park. Make I it will buy a statue of a light post and put a flag <laughs> on it. <laughs> World's first light post was here. Uh, I mean, if it has a skirt on the bottom, you could say it's one of the world's first geocaches because a lot of geocaches are at the bottom of light post. We'll see. They're all in voting, so we'll we'll see if any of them get made. I do have a question. Um, I saw a little bit of discussion about something called an extremely rare shield. Did they ever exist? Oh, 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 oh! It's the Vanguard uh -oh. gag. Was it a mistake? Now, I swear I've seen that, like, a while ago. Like, so <laughs> are these old pictures? Yeah, well, yeah, it looks like it's something that's out of Redacted. Um, it's in the style of the Redacted Shields, but it kind of is an orangish color. Kind of like the color of the background of Vane's, wherever he went. Not high. There <laughs> so, so he can't talk about he this. Be, he must be uncovering the extremely rare shield. Which, so that's interesting. Yeah. That I mean, makes that, it really more interesting than I, I thought it was earlier because I was just going to assume it was just, you know, something old that they decided not to do and or someone faked it. Like that That was my two yeah, thoughts. Of it, first so. as well. So now we know it's going to be in the game when, Bane? Right after this uh, event's over? Okay, great. Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything if that's all true. I cannot. It's all true. It's all true. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, I, I started searching on that, and there's a couple other things. Like, oh, I've never seen one of these. It was another one that was a... Uh, it was like a virus or something, but it was something different. It's like, I've never seen one of those either. So there are those, I guess, mistakes. Was it a uh, link laser? Uh, funny that you talk about the link laser. That it project is going forward. I'll have you know. 
I'm expecting a delivery. Just, mm. just want to say. Snips the link. Snips the link. That's the one. Tell your friends. Uh. But uh, no, it 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 be a kind of interesting thing to find all those ones that were one offs. I mean, have have there been one off things that they tried that was there for a while and just went away? Uh, flip cards used to not have cooldown period. So you used to be able to just Ada and Jarvis endlessly. Um, that changed quickly. Uh, I can remember I was actually on the ground for the New York uh, City finale of the original Cassandra series, and there was still no cooldown on flip cards. And it was just a battle to see which team of people were standing at that portal had more flip cards <laughs> around measurement time. And I'm very glad that that was implemented at some point, but uh, yeah, that was a, that was a patch after the fact. And I, I was thinking everything else that I'm thinking of, well, they, they just turned it into something else. So, you know, you had like, uh, what, before we had um, quantums, you had MVUGs, you know, it, it this changed to something else. I don't think there's anything that I can think of that has disappeared that it's wasn't those circle K cubes. Yeah, they're uh, gone. Cubes. Yeah, I had a bunch of those, and they they just morphed into something else. I mean, the original um, the <laughs> nice, shirt, dude. nice shirt. Nice <laughs> shirt. Can't read it. Here. It's <laughs> place a foot at the circle K. Uh, I remember you used to talk about going to. to Circle K, and you had all these problems that you'd go in to get a drink, to get a passcode, and it was like you were harassing the help, trying to get this passcode, and that was like your never mission. worked there. So, yeah, apparently there were. That's probably why the whole thing ended. <laughs> you know, there's like <laughs> there's privately a, owned I, Circle Ks that didn't follow the follow same follow. things or something. I don't know. It was weird. But it was annoying because I would go in and buy a drink. I'd buy the stuff that you had to buy. I don't know how much money I spent trying to get these damn <laughs> to work. <laughs> like, it's like crazy. Um, but it was just like a test kind of thing. And it's like, well, buying a drink anyway for, for lunch and get a free code. <laughs> or not. Oh, yeah, or not. <laughs> well, I got a code. It didn't always work, but you got a code. So that was that was interesting. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe they'll do the same thing with uh, T. Maybe they'll start, you'll fi start finding codes in Edo and T. Well, there was the hint water. The hint they had the, the cut. So, hint water, they had a, a thing with them um, where in the hint water bottles under the cap, there was a code. And uh, you could get gear. Yeah, under there. I still have a uh, I have a treasure chest that is buried somewhere in the state of Connecticut that contains hundreds of them. It's my my lost booty. Uh oh, so that's your uh, your cash in case you have to pull back. Oh yeah, that's the emergency stuff. So it's like the don't use that stuff. Just, just burying stuff. So if you have to retreat, yeah, <laughs> then you'll just go dig it up. Turn them in. I'm sure they'll redeem. Those codes have XM in them. That's going to be valuable in this brave new world. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Appreciate, right? So, uh, I think that's about it. I don't know if we have anything else on there. Uh, Perpetua and Lexicon. Lexicon was, is, was supposed to be. April, right? Yes, yeah. Lexicon is now scared off. You know, Niantic, I guess, just approached them and were like, hey, can you just do this Nemesis thing like later? And they're like, yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> now we, see, that's that was probably the solution to keeping them out of our universe. We'll just tell them that there's like a plague and they'll leave. So I see, I see a, a. They don't want to get sick. Truck. JDBJ Blaze asking what is a lexicon? lexicon? A lexicon is a member of Nemesis that we should have been fighting 
in April, but now that our timeline is shifting once again, Nemesis is also, you know, huddling up and staying out off of the streets. So Lexicon is not going to be coming to any of our hexathlon cities because neither were we. And, you know, I just thought all of those researchers that are stuck in that bubble, not going to be a problem for them. They're not going to get COVID-19. We are the researchers now. <laughs> I wonder if they have those extremely rare shields. What about it, Vane? Just in the bubble, though. <laughs> they only work there. <laughs> only in the bubble. Well, uh, you already have the code. If you were listening closely to the show, I don't. Did, did JBJ Blaze get it? He can tell us if it worked. If not, well, I'll just give it to you again. It's AA. Wash your hands, AA. And speaking of, everybody, stay safe and. Yes, and uh, indoors, walk around the block, get out a little bit, but, um, you know, stay a few feet away from everyone else. And all the things that Ada would say to you as you're hacking when you're washing your hands, that way you'll get your 20 seconds in. And JBJ Blaze said he washed his hands free of that code already. So nice. I take it that that means it works. So the code works. Good job. And, and uh, you know, do some decoding challenges and Wayfarer and try not to go stir crazy. And if you do have to go out for things, uh, be safe. Uh, be careful. Look after uh, each other. You uh, could call your friends you and family to make sure they're all okay. You could listen to all the backlog of all the Agent Academies. From we said, Academy. don't go stir crazy. That will just. <laughs> 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 But do it anyway. Yeah. That'll be fun. Watch watch that uh, ingress. Maybe we'll have a watch. That we'll, we'll just run through them all with people. We could do it like a director's commentary. That would be fun. That's almost two weeks of, of audio. Well, two work weeks. <laughs> there, you, there you go. I think a week's in 40-hour increments. That's uh, why my life seems like it's going so slow. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and um, hopefully we'll see you next week if we do a show. If if things are maybe we can do it a different time. Um, Fancy. We'll we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it off air and, and follow the twitters. Even though I forgot to tweet this time. Okay. Uh, oh no! Telegram. Our audience. They're yeah. gone again. We have to do it again. <laughs> and uh, good night. Stay safe. Stay inside. Wash your tethered hands. <laughs> <laughs>